Hey, what's up guys? Kool-Aid here. Just going to show you guys some of the new infiltrator stuff on the test server. It did hit public test last night. I'll leave you guys a link to the test server if you guys want to download it for yourself. But uh, either way, I'm going to show you guys some of the new weapons. And needless to say, a lot of this is very unpolished. I will apologize beforehand that if you hear any noises in the background, I am doing this live, and sometimes my mic picks up semis and stuff like that. Um, and I'll also needs to say a lot of this is very unpolished, so you're not going to get the greatest impression of, of what this stuff does, but you should get a general idea. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is the new armor for the infiltrators. We have gold trim armor and luma fiber armor, neither of which I will be purchasing, but they are there if you want to buy them. Um, I don't really need any more glowy stuff on my infiltrator, but uh, anyways, we'll start off with the weapon. This is the NS SMG, the new one, and you can see it's a high rate of fire at 769, 125 damage, so pretty low damage, and it doesn't start to drop off till 10 meters. So the only other SMGs that don't, you know, you know, drop off this late is the NS PDW, which doesn't, you know, start to drop off till 15, and I believe the Iridani is the only other one that doesn't start to drop off till 10 meters. So it has that going for it. Um, so it does have its own little niche. Um, it has very good hip fire. The attachments it's got your standard standard optics. Uh, you can put extended mags on it. it. Comes with 30 rounds in the mag. You can get it up to 40. We'll throw that on there. Uh, you can get soft point and you know pretty pretty basic stuff. We'll just hose down a couple of people with it real quickly. Um, there is a lot of activity going on in the VR training room, as you would guess. Just straight up hip fire that dude. You can see it's got a pretty quick time to kill. It actually, I kind of like it so far. Obviously, we're not getting you know any any real time gameplay out of this, but so far I kind of like it. And it's got that cool reload animation that the other NS weapon has. So. You know, that's that. Um, now, I do have the motion spotter equipped as well. And I took this out, and you can't really see anything with it. It's either not finished, or it just doesn't pick up, you know, still targets. And I did take this out where the other targets were, and it doesn't really do anything at the moment. Um, probably because no targets in here move. So it's really hard to get a good idea of what that's going to be like. But you can see. All enemies within 50 meters, and it lasts for 180 seconds. Um, I thought this would be permanent, honestly. But I guess not, which is a bit of a mystery to me. And I don't know if you get... Here, let's see. Oh, you do get... Maybe you don't. You only get one. Okay. I don't really see any reason to use that over the darts, but... That's something we're going to have to test more in-game. Now, the crossbow, maybe, actually, maybe it lasts 180 seconds, but you can let's see if you can pick it back up. Doesn't look like it. I was going to say, maybe you could pick it back up and it resets it, but I guess not. So the other thing we'll take a look at, the next thing we'll take a look at, is the new NS sniper rifle. And where is it? There we go. Now, this is broken right now as you can see unless you have 6x optics on it which I'll throw in a second you can't ADS with it and I'm not going to spend too much time on this because this is probably the weapon that I'm least concerned about it doesn't have the rate of fire on here but you can see it does 334 damage and if you compare that to the other semi-autos um, where are they the Gauss SPR and the impetus, it's lower, so I'm going to guess it's got a higher rate of fire. Um, you can see it's got, a, it's got a faster reload time, but I don't know if that's going to quite make up for the damage. It does start to drop off a little bit further. Um, it does have you know a little bit longer minimum damage range, but you know I don't know. That's something that I'm really going to have to test out a little bit more in-game. Oh yeah, chamber time. There you go. I guess that's how they do reload speed. It does have 0.81 chamber time where this has 1.08 um, not reload speed but uh, rate of fire so I guess that's what they're using for rate of fire so it does you know it's faster less damage looks like it's gonna be better for for closer range let's see if we have optics you can go anywhere from you know the 1x up to the 6x and we'll throw the 6x on because we can actually aim for that you can see it's almost 
you know, kind of a cross between the others and a battle rifle. Alright, so next, I think that's all for that, we'll go to the crossbow. And the crossbow, actually you can get up to a 6x scope on this thing as well. Um, there's no barrel attachments. For the rail, you got the lasers. <coughs> Excuse me, you don't have advanced laser. Now the interesting thing is you have explosive bolts and detect bolts. And we're going to go with nothing for now, just to show you guys this. Oops, that's not the crossbow. <laughs> um, show you the time to kill on these. You got three rounds per mag, and it's basically a two shot. You can't one shot anybody with this, even to the head. You can see it's got a pretty slow rate of fire. I'll show you the exact stats on this quickly. Um, chamber time 1.1, so pretty slow rate of fire. That doesn't make any sense because that's definitely slower than the than the semi-auto sniper rifle. So anyway, you got the 600 damage. And the good thing about this gun is that for a secondary, the damage does not drop off very much. Um, you're going to be getting two hit kills out to about 40 meters, which is nice. You do have to, you know, account for drop with these things. You can get two hit kills out pretty far with these, especially if you do get headshots. Um, so that's going to be the advantage of this. It's not going to be really for close range unless you're really accurate. It's, I don't think it's going to replace your secondaries as you know completely. I think it's got more of a niche, a niche type weapon where it's it's a secondary with longer range. Now they do have, like I said, these. Detect bolt, and it doesn't have a description, but it sounds like it's going to be like a motion sensor. I don't know. Oh, excuse me, I'm kind of stuffed up today. Um, but when I when I test these out, it still looks like they kill in the same amount of time. So I'm not exactly sure if there's a downside. Are going to be a downside to using these? Um, they might not just be you know finished in in public test either, but it really looks like they do the same amount of damage. So when you when you buy a crossbow, it might just be a straight upgrade to buy one of these, or again, they might just not be finished. Now, the explosive bolt, I've tried playing around with this, and you know you can't. I can't get too good of an impression of what it does because I'll show you. I can't kill anybody with it. It seems to well, they disappeared, but. We'll go out in the field a little bit here. It seems like everybody I hit with this either just disappears without going on my screen or, or you know, going up into the kill feed or just does not die, period. So yeah, I'm, I'm just direct hitting this guy over and over and it's doing nothing. So I'm not, I can't really get a real good impression of how this is going to work. And, you know, I don't think uh, explosive damage or blast damage works at all in VR. So I can't really test out the explosive bolts. I can tell you that they have a very big lob to them. You know, they have a really slow projectile speed. Say I'm aiming right well, where that guy was. You know, it's not even getting close. So they have really... And then <laughs> when you run out of ammo, you get this sweet bug on your screen. So... The crossbow looks fun, but it looks like it has a, a certain niche that it's going to fill. Um, I don't think it's going to, you know, everybody's going to want to replace their secondaries with the crossbow. But it does look like it has a place. And then, of course, the last thing we're going to test out is the new NC10 Bolt Precision Pro. And there's a car driving by, I apologize. Um, so this thing has a really long chamber time, does a lot of damage. Um, it's got good projectile speed, it's got a really slow reload, and you only get four rounds per mag. And I want to show you guys this real Look at how big that thing is on the screen. It looks enormous. And I apologize again, I'm getting, my, my throat's really dry, I'm really stuffed up, I apologize for all that. Um, so let's check this thing out. This thing is a beast. Um, and it's actually really funny right now. We'll, we'll try to land a headshot here. There we go. Yeah, definitely one-hit kill headshots with this thing. 
Um, I really like how this feels when firing it as a bolt action sniper rifle. But I know you guys are more interested in seeing the shotgun aspect of this thing, and that's what we're gonna we're gonna take a look at right now. All right, so it will not one hit kill to the body at any range. It's more of a two hit kill type weapon. Um, you know, I don't know the exact stats on it right now, but you can see it does one hit kill at point blank to the head, just to the head. Um, let's find a non-infiltrator target. Alright, here we go. Like, even from this range, you did do get a one-hit kill headshot, but anything beyond that, and I've done a lot of little testing on this already, like, anything beyond that, it's not going to one-hit kill. It's always going to be a two-hit kill, so it's, it's not nearly as good as the other shotguns in the game for you guys that were, you know, for your VS and TR. Now, one thing that's really funny about this gun right now is this is a fully fully healthed out max and oh maybe it's not we'll wait for it to respawn this this I have to show you guys and this is something that is definitely not intended um, at least I wouldn't think it's intended but as you can see it three three shots maxes right now um, it'll actually two shot a max to the head So, <laughs> I was playing around with this a little bit more, and it's actually going to... Four shot of Ma Mossy. <laughs> and it even kills Liberators, it kills Galaxies right now, it kills any MVTs. Um, that's definitely something that I, I would presume is not intended. Um, if it is, that's where you're going to hear a lot of nerfs being called, I guess. I don't think I could argue with you, but as you can see, the shotgun aspect of it is not all that effective when actually killing infantry. Now, you're going to say, you know, you're an infiltrator, you can do it in cloak. Um, that's true, but it's really not more effective than a commissioner. The, most thing, the thing that I can see this being used for most is shot knifing, but even then, you have to... Uh, excuse me. You have to rechamber this next round every time. So I think the commissioner is still probably going to be better than that. Um, I'm just going to have to kind of test it out in game. Might make it better for somebody that can't aim a commissioner, but I know from those ranges you shouldn't have problems aiming a commissioner anyway. So I don't know. All this stuff, you know, is obviously unpa unpolished. It needs to be tested in game before I can do actual reviews on it. And I will be doing full reviews on all this stuff as well. So, anyways, I'm going to log out here real quick and I'll be right back with VS. Actually, before we switch over to VS, I do want to show you guys the Stalker Cloak real quick. I actually forgot about this. I'm throwing this in at, um, wedging this in here. Um, so, it says it doesn't drain for 24 seconds. You can see. You do lose your primary weapon, of course, but it drains very, very slow. And if you stop, stop moving, you can still move around, you know, rotate, you will recharge your cloak. And this looks like so much fun, especially in conjunction with the crossbow. Um, you can pretty much, I mean, you can't stay cloaked forever, but you can pretty much stay cloaked forever. And this is where you're really going to want to utilize, you know, crouch, not moving, where you're about 95% invisible. Um, you know, it's just going to be a lot of fun. And I can't believe I actually forgot to do this at the start of the, or in the video. Um, I was actually about to, to render this video and not even include Stalker Cloak. But anyways, there you have it. And now we will switch over to the VS. All right, so now that we're on VR, or VS, ah, VR, now that we're on VS, we'll check out their new weapon, the Shade. It does 400 damage. It is the semi-auto that can function as a bolt action. Um, it says 400 damage. It has a reload speed on here. I don't really understand why. It's definitely not, uh, you don't reload this thing. That's the cool thing about it, at least not on test. And it won't let me change any of the attachments, but it does say it has a 6x. Um, so, you know, you can get up to a 6x with it. I think you can get down to the 3.4s. Not exactly sure. But you can see, you know, it functions a lot like a normal semi-auto. Three it kills to the body. Um, I want to see how many shots off I can get before you fully max out the heat. So 
So you get about 10, 10 shots off, which would be, a, you know, pretty much... And then you can't shoot if you overheat it. That's that's the thing. You can't shoot at all. You have to wait till it goes all the way back down. So kind of where, kind of you know, works like a repair tool. So you're not going to want to overheat it. Um, to take advantage, you know, you're just gonna have to use it like that repair tool, where you're gonna have to let it heat, up, cool off a little bit, I guess you should say. Um, and you can see if you're just taking shots like this, no problem, kind of keeping the heat below where it needs to be. You know, but no, in a bad situation, you're obviously going to have to pump out more shots and possibly overheat it if you... If, but that's... I mean, the, the whole skill part of this gun is not to do that. And then here is the bolt action part. And you see, that was me not releasing it by myself. But the key thing to note about the bolt action aspect is it completely overheats your gun. And you can, it looks like... If your gun is already at like 75% heat, it looks like it will still allow you to go to the bolt action aspect of it. So you can pop off a bunch of rounds. Say you're killing some guys in close, and then you can switch. You need to kill a guy at long range. You can switch the bolt action aspect and take a guy out. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, you just got to remember not to overheat this thing because then you're standing there pretty much dead in the water. And it does work like the Lancer where if you do not, you know, release it, it will release on its own. So you got to keep that in mind as well. You're not going to have a lot of time to aim. Um, overall, I like this mechanic. I think it's a fun little option. Uh, for I think it's going to be definitely semi-auto first, and then bolt action second. It's basically semi-auto, and then if you if you need a bolt action in a pinch, you have that option there. So, anyways, guys, I'll be right back with the TR. So next we have the TR's Trap M1. This is going to do 184 damage out to 10 meters. It's going to drop off to 167, where it reaches its minimum at 75 meters. 429 rounds per minute yeah this is the fully auto it does have burst fire and we can't put any optics on this and for whatever reason it doesn't come with any and you can't actually see where you're shooting so we're just going to kind of guesstimate here uh, we'll try this out in full auto first and you know that that's me kind of burst firing on my own i get somewhere where nobody's being shot it's, vr is pretty pretty active right now so Come over here a little bit. We'll shoot it. Shoot this guy. You can see if you you gotta definitely pull down on the mouse. It's got some. I won't hit the mouse this time. It's got some pretty heavy recoil. Um, it's just gonna climb you straight up. But the recoil is not too hard to control. I mean, it's not gonna be as good as you know any of the other other guns. But the advantage is it's gonna have that less drop off. A lot less drop off. So. That's where the sniper rifle aspect comes in. We'll throw it in burst, uh, even though you're not going to be able to get a great feel to how this works. You know, without the optics and stuff, we can't get a really good feel on this. But uh, we'll we'll do our best. And it, it, I think it takes about if you can land two bursts, I think that's enough to kill. But it's going to be hard to land. Well, that didn't kill, and I thought I'd put them all on target. Let's see here. Yeah, apparently you need to land the third burst, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me six times. Uh, I can't do the math, but... Anyways, that's it. I'll obviously do more testing on this, all this stuff. Once they come out, I'll do actual, you know, videos and stuff like that. Um... But anyways, I just wanted to give you know give you guys a quick and dirty rundown in case you did not want to download the test server, and I can understand a lot of you not wanting to do that. It's pretty big and it's pretty lengthy. Well, it's not too bad a to download, but typically there's not a whole lot going on on the test server other than playing around with the new stuff in VR. So anyways, guys, that is all I have. Um, let me know what you guys think about the new stuff so far, and I will talk to you all later.